Hi, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts. Thanks for joining me for another card video. I'm going to show you how to make this um, sorry for your loss card for somebody who lost a, a pet. I have a friend who just recently lost her dog. So um, it says always in your heart and on the inside, so sorry for your loss. So I used, um, I cut this out and used a couple of different layers and I'm going to change it up this time a little bit. Just um, I think I don't want this to be white, so we'll, I'll, I'll show you what I'm doing as I do it. Um, I'm using Pampered Chefs. It has really cute dog, um, the front and the back, and these cute little kitty cats. And there are dies that go with it. And they cut out the dog and the cat, um, these. And then there's some paw prints as well. And the fun thing is that there's paper that coordinates. And this is a designer series paper. Um, it's called Pampered Chefs, or Playful Pets Designer Series Paper, and it really is cute. I'll just show you real quickly. Some of these dies actually um, will cut out. Look at this dog. <laughs> it's not the funniest dog. He's so cute. But it will cut out the dogs, um, and I think that's really cute. Then you don't have to worry about stamping and coloring. And So that's the other side of... Well, this is a different set of dogs. Um, so there's two sides. This is just a striped. And I'll just quickly show you. There's this one that I just showed you, the back. That's what I'm using. And then, of course, there's some fun cats prancing around. Look at this one with the attitude. And that has some hair or whiskers or something. And then here's some more. I just love the faces on them. I think they're just so cute. And then this is the back of that. And we have some dog dishes, and there's some words, uh, love, bark, woof, dig, chase, scratch, so all dog-related terms. And then we've got the cat dish with some toys. And the other side of that is love, meow, purr, snooze, yawn, jump. There's all kinds of things. So I think this is a really cute uh, little set. I just got it. Um, I've seen a lot of cards out there, so uh, I thought that I would make a card for my friend. Her dog is um, a Great Dane, so nothing like this dog, but I think it's the thought, and I think he's really cute. I am going to stamp him in black, because I thought this was a little bit light, especially with the nose. I'm just not crazy about it. But let's get started. The first thing I want to do is um, get my pieces and... I was trying to figure this out, and what I did was I adhered this, and then I cut it out with the heart die. So I'm, I'm going to follow the steps, and then you have a peek-through hole, but you've got this inside piece, and I'll, I'll explain it as we go. So I am going to just glue this down, and I'm just going on the outside, and we'll center this. And I think this is just cute as it is with the little red hearts and the paw prints. And then I'll take my die. I'm using the uh, Be Mine Stitched Framelit dies. And some of these dies don't really, you would think they would nest, but this is more of a um, embossed look. So it's not like the next size down. So I use this one and I put it up toward the top and like, let me get my die cutting machine. Put this all aside. And we'll bring this up here. I'm hoping you can see me here okay. And I'll just put this through. So my, my plates are extremely warped. I have new ones on order, but until they come, we're using it. And we'll just put this in. And I'm just going to kind of hold it here and we'll go through. And I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm going to go through and back. Okay. And I am going to keep this here because I want to do one more thing. So now we have our heart cut out and then we have this other piece cut out. And let me get my picket tool and I just want to push this through it's really stuck in there okay 
And what I want to do is this is nice and clean and this side is the other side. What I like to do is put this in reverse and just run it through again. And if you really line it up well, it'll just fit right in here perfectly. And it'll look like the, the clean side. I don't know if that makes sense to you. So I'm actually going to run it through this way. And since my plates are so warped, it's a little bit tough. Let me just get a piece of post-it note just to keep it in place. And it's okay if it shaves off a little bit, but you don't want it off too much. And it will just give you that nice, clean look as if it was cut through this way from the beginning. I hope that makes sense. having a tough time here because my plates are warped. If your plates aren't warped, it will be much easier to slide this in. Okay. And I'll just put this on and run it through. So let's take this off. See, now I have, I think it cut it off a little bit, and now I have the post-it note. Isn't that funny? Ha! Huh. I didn't do this before, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to use that side. All right, so let's poke this out and get this off. So I must have been off just a tad, but that's okay. It won't matter. Yep, I was off a little bit. If you have flat, and you don't even have to do this if you don't want to, I just wanted it clean. You could actually just do another piece of red and create another one. I just figured I wouldn't waste it. So let's pull all of that off. Let's get rid of this guy. So now I have this pretty red piece that will fit right in here. Okay, but you can't attach this here. So what I'll do is I'll put the inside in. So that's where I came in with this inside layer. So I can put this in, put this down, adhere this, and we're good to go. But then I wanted to put a little bit of this other paper in there as well. So you'll see what I'm doing as I go along. So I wanna just adhere this down. Um, and actually, I'm going to adhere these together so they're nice and even and straight. Let me just put a little bit of glue around here. Just make sure this is all lined up perfect. Okay, and then we'll put this down. And I know I'm taking a chance here because I'm gonna stamp on something that's already in place. So let's hope it goes well. So now we have this inside, and then this piece that we cut, I have a red heart to go here. So I think, I don't know, I think I like this better than this. So whatever way you like it. So let's go back to the front first and then we'll do the inside. So now I want to stamp my dog. And as I said, this was Smoky Slate. I'm going to do um, the black memento just because I want him a little bit darker and he will fit in here. And then I'm going to put the other little heart outside in. So let's make sure he goes down good here. Perfect, he's so cute. Now let's cover this up. I do see I have a little bit of glue here. I'm just going to get, I'm just find it. Oh, I have to get 
take care of it later. I have one of those gum erasers. I think I just put a little bit too much glue down for, so just be careful of that. But then we'll put this down. I'm wondering where that gum eraser is. I have a basket of stuff right next to me. And usually I keep that kind of stuff in there. And with a little bit of glue, we'll fit this right in. And it will fit in here perfectly. Isn't he cute? And then I want to just color his collar. And I'm using my Stampin' Write marker. And I'm using the very thin end. And I want to color his nose. And I'm using the basic black Stampin' Write marker. This is what bothered me before on the other card that I had um, the black with the gray. I just thought it looks a little funny. I may do something with it. I don't know what. But I like the black on black here a little bit better. And then we will stamp some hearts with real red. And I'll use the heart stamps from here. And I'll just do one here, up here, and here. Okay. So I think he's cute. Then the sentiment I'm going to use is from this set. And always in your heart, so sorry for your loss. So I am going to use my marker because it's all one stamp. So that whole thing is one stamp. So I'll just color it. And I always like to breathe on it when I color. And I'll use a little piece, this is like a half inch. And you have to kind of judge it because you're only using the top of it. So, so I'm just going to kind of wing it. I've got tons of these little pieces, so if it doesn't work, I can always use another one. And then I'll just snip it. Okay, so we have that. I want to clean this because I don't want the top to get on when I do the bottom on the inside. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. Let me see, I have just a scrap paper here. This will make sure there's no residue there. Okay, so let's put this aside and work on the inside. So the inside, I'll put this heart on. I'll just glue that down. And you don't need anything. You could just leave it like this, but I thought I have the heart. Might as well use it. So I'll just put this down, kind of on an angle. You could probably stamp something in here as well. And then let's get the inside layer. Oops, I have one right here. And I want to do the same thing, coloring just the bottom. I had a hard time with the bottom because some of these letters come all the way down. So I will just put my finger here and try to make sure I don't get... See, I got it on my finger. You can put a piece of post-it note over it and stamp it if you don't have the marker. You don't need to use the markers. So if you just cover the top with a post-it note ink it in your ink pad and then take off the post-it note most important thing before you uh, stamp it so let's breathe on this and stamp this down 
perfect. Phew! <laughs> that always makes me nervous. And let's do some hearts up top. And let's do the dog bowl. And I'll do that in the black ink. And I think this is really a sweet card. You know, we love our fur babies, cats and dogs, and when we lose one, it's very sad. So this is um, a nice, a nice little card to make. Let's see. I'm thinking I want to put something over there. I may cut out one of those dogs and put it on there. Let's see what we want to do. Is that enough? I guess that's enough. I was just thinking on, on the papers, you know, we could cut out a dog, fussy cut a little dog or something, but I'm just going to leave it. I think this is good enough. Oh, and we have to put our sentiment on the outside. And I'll just use some, um, some of my strip here of my leftover of my dimensionals. This is a perfect size for this size of a sentiment. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I think I like the darker one better. But he's cute too. I think this is more of the color of that kind of dog. So these are the two choices on the inside. But thanks for joining. And uh, if you have this set, give this card a try. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.